be like one, and I would not ever. I'd find it hard to nominate one for di- for something they've done when I really like the other, and I feel and I feel that the other housemates would feel like that too. So I feel that them coming out for nomination is very unlikely. So strategically, I feel I have to nominate them. Oh, that's our first strategic nomination. And Hot Dogs nominated Michelle this week and now Michelle has nominated Hot Dogs. And that is the first time the Logans have been nominated. I thought last week Michelle was in love with Greg. Am I right? Am I wrong? What's going on? Time to turn the spotlight now on the other love of her life, the Shearer. Now he has had a week of attention from Michelle, distraction by the new housemates and friction with Big Brother over some insensitive jokes. Glenn. Yeah. The rule that you have breached is a rule with regards to defamation and vilification. Ah, oh, yeah. Big Brother thinks it's necessary to re-emphasise one of the rules as laid out in the housemates' guidelines. The rule reads, housemates must not knowingly defame or vilify any individual or group. Big Brother will no longer tolerate any derogatory remarks relating to race, culture, gender, religion, or any other group. I'm going to jump yeah. in your bed for sure. All oh, right, mate, he's no worries. He's got sex appeal. He certainly really? does. Jake and I should start flirting with the bottom line. It caused a bit of shit. Do it. Do you reckon I should have said, no, I will, I will. Everyone's cool. <laughs> Clint, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, nominate Geneva for two points. Um, reasons being I find her too, too dominant and too bossy. The other day I, I, I don't ask for very much and I asked for a little bit of sugar and she blatantly straight out said, you're not having any. She didn't say, give me a reason. She just said, no, you're not having any. Um, and made me feel very, very angry and like a little child. And um, very sort of, um, very insignificant, really. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? For one point, I nominate Dean. Um, I, I nominate him for being blatantly very, very rude. The main example is when um, the new housemates come that night and he was extremely rude to one of the new housemates. The way it affects me in the house is it created a very big tension and um, made me feel a little bit insecure about what to, how, how to act after that because there was a lot of tension and still is a lot of tension. Naughty Glenn. I mean, he nominates Dean because it made him uncomfortable the house that he was rude to one of the housemates. That's the same housemate he just said he was going to flirt with to amuse himself in the house. What about that? Geneva nominates Kate because Kate's acting like a parent and Glenn nominates Geneva because she makes him feel like a child. It's all one big circle. Let's go to the tally board, see how it's all going. All right, a clear leader emerges, but just by one point. Oh, there's someone very enthusiastic about that in the audience. <laughs> Dean is now on three, with five in a pack behind him. Geneva, Hot Dogs, Michelle, Glenn and Christy. Kate and the Logans are on one apiece, and Tim is so far unmarked by the nomination's Grim Reaper. Coming up, our latest evictee, Massive Michael, joins us on stage. Let's hope his bum is covered and his heart is open. <laughs> it's Big Daddy Michael here, the father of the house. I'll be back after the break to clean up this nominations mess. She was crying. For starters, it wasn't crocodile deers, okay? 
I genuinely have feelings for Mickey. I can't believe that somehow she made the night about herself. Ooh. Welcome back to Nominations, where it's time to meet the man who walked out of the house last night and walked straight into the arms of an all-night party, Michael. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> you smell nice. I oh, know, I prettied myself up for you tonight. Did you? Yeah. Did you put some shampoo on your head? I did, yes. I had herbal essences all over me. It was going on. Did you party all night? No. You didn't? Yes. You did. <laughs> I now, had five minutes sleep. It was great, five minutes. Now, you know that you leaving the house last night has caused an absolute furor in the house. Because Rachel burst into tears. Was, do you think they were crocodile tears or do you think it was genuine? I think they're genuine. Jeez, I feel sorry for her, man. Why? I think everyone's focused on the fact that she's a bit of a pain in the ass rather than the <laughs> fact that it's really, really hard to go into that house, especially after four weeks. And she's only 22 years, years old, man. She's just a young girl. What about Bess? Or is she coping better? Definitely, but she's got, I think, five years on her too and he's a bit more confident and knows her place in the world and has a job which she's done for years and has a, a trade and a skill and it's more stable it's just, oh yeah just more stable it doesn't feel compelled to prove herself now tell me has it struck you yet that you have left the house because i know this 24 hours is full of interviews you're in the spotlight it's it is surreal have, have you thought oh my god i'm actually out of there i'm thinking don't look at my feet i got told i look at my feet too much i'm gonna make eye contact um, no, i went I on the claw i went onto the claw today and i felt really really sick afterwards and that was a big come down to earth you're outside of the house um other than that it's really weird in what way um i met this little kid who was dressed up like me he was about <laughs> this tall and he had like mini mic and he had like an earring, a fake earring in his nose and one in his ear with his mum. Oh. And I tried to, he was waiting around after the show, but I didn't get to see him last night. Oh, little But buddy. one of my friends gave him a Team Mikey sweatband. How they came about, I've no idea. <laughs> cool. Now you're going to help us. Let's have a look at Christy's week. We'll she ha see how she nominates and then we'll have a chat. Beautiful. Cool. This is Big Brother. Christy, you are not wearing your microphone. That's a $5,000 fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm making a formal apology to Christy because I said something mean. Um, Greg was the end guy I was attracted to, whatever. And I saw you two getting really close to each other, and so I cracked a stink. What did you say? All I said is that. <laughs> Just say it. Okay, I can't believe you picked Christy, the dumb one. Whoa, that's weird. Whoa, the dumb one, eh? Hey? I'm not one for conflict. I hate conflict. Sometimes I feel these people are stronger than me. I just feel like people are looking down at me. I really think that it's like, oh, she's just a little girl. Do you know what I mean? Christine. Yes, big brother. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Yep. Yeah. For two points, I'm nominating Michelle. <clears throat> I'm finding her to be very inconsistent. Um, inconsiderate. Um, the reason I'm saying this is there's been several times during the week where I have um, been in the room by myself sleeping and she'd always come in and um, just be a bit disrespectful and be very loud and talk to other housemates. And um, when I do kindly, politely ask her if she can be a bit quieter, she doesn't listen to me, so that makes me very angry. And um, it just doesn't make sense for me because I always respect her sleeping patterns. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Yeah, for one point I nominate Kate. Um, during the week, for me, sleep is very important and um, there's been several times where I've been woken up by her snoring very severely. And um, it just makes me feel angry because, you know, I don't really get much sleep in here. and. Um, it really annoys me having to always get up and tell her to stop snoring. Christy. Yes. Do you think Kate can help her snoring? Um, no, because you can't stop snoring unless you get an operation on your nose. It's, you know, I always roll her over. Um, 
But yeah, you can't stop a snorer. It's just 